Right guys, hello, it's Greg and this is my former 6505 plus uh, combo and I have decided to make it a head and a separate cab, cap sorry. So here it is, now it is done. As you can see, I, found, I find it clean, I think it's okay, okay, where? On the front it's okay this is the bottom of the of the cab I have reversed you you'll understand I'll show you so this is the back see as you can see the back of the cab normally it's um, an enclosed uh, cabinet okay but uh, I used the back to make this part of the head okay so i'll show you oh i have something sorry i need to yes for you to understand so as you can see here is the part which is cut okay so it has been cutted it's difficult yes here you can see so this is the back okay so this is the whole piece of wood okay and I uh, I had to adjust uh, the end okay so when I cut I have cut the the, the back of the the well the, the the middle part of the combo it was just under this screw okay so you just have to cut here cut here oh yes here you can see it's better for you so this is where i have decided to cut because it was really easy okay so all the rest was only uh, just part of the combo and for you to understand oh whoa, the reverb so normally here was the 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 bottom okay so here there was the four uh, protection knobs uh, i don't know how do you you call them and so here now they are here okay so the head was here the head was here and i just cut these two parts okay and then i wanted to paint them in black okay in order to make it uh, clean so now it's it's black but here sorry i'll focus on this here this is where i cut okay so i just uh, i just took the knob there and put uh, put them here okay so now i have reversed the cab and reversed the um, the the speaker too the stock this is the sheffield the stock speaker and it is in 16 ohms some of you oh sorry some of you already asked me see here this is really important with the stock speaker normally it is said in the the user's manual but not in french it is not precise so here your knob must be here so i put tape there not to make a mistake but it is on 16 uh, 16 ohm it is not written that's why uh, it's okay so this is a chinese uh, mistake and uh, if it was written there uh, there would be no problem but okay so here it is guys so this is my head now uh, and i'm really proud of this it took me i don't know half half an hour really it's really easy okay oh maybe if you don't want to damage your head okay just pull this back okay so you have here the four wheels 
and I think on the back there are four or six and it's done okay and it is working perfectly I'll show you well no I can't yes I'll show you okay sorry so now it's here okay so I have to decided to unplug you know the, um, the well you can see yes you can see the I don't know if you can see maybe if I do this yes here yeah, you can see yes here yeah. well you can't but this is unplugged but it is totally reversible I can take my guitar to Jack Okay, okay, well, I'll show you. So this is live and impromptu, so sorry for the, you know, the bad movements. Okay. So I won't put the volume very loud because my daughters are just... Uh, I'll to show you. Okay, thank you boys. Oh, these are my settings. Sometimes I like to crank the presence knob and put the trebles here at two and a half. But for the live, this is when I play at home, but for the live performance, I put the presence at seven, resonance seven on eight, or eight, sorry. The treble six, mid at four, and the bass, the low, on seven. For the gigs, I put them on five, and the, for the gigs, the pre is at four and a half. But when I want to play some metal to crank the volume, okay, this is where I, I am. Thank you, boys. See you later. Goodbye.